Hey dancers, how are you? Today's topic is going to be something that's really going to be fun. What to do with your old tights. So I brought an old pair over here. As dancers, we know that we use so many pairs of tights and there's so many things you can do with your tights that you can use for your ballet and you can use for your um, other dancing things like kind of like refurbished or like upcycling your dance tights into making them things for your other dance things. So I love to make use of my old tights. I brought some that are already finished products and then I kept some things that we can do all together. So let's get started. I hope that you're ready. Get an old pair of tights or you can just watch through this video some scissors and yeah, um, I'll be showing you a few tips. So the first thing and a lot of dancers know this already is you can make them into like a dance shrug or a dance shirt. So what we want to do is to cut this middle section, which is where your head is going to go through. So we, as we all know, tights are really stretchy because we also cut the bottom half, especially when our tights don't have holes. So what we, or what I know most dancers like to do is they would cut the top part. So this section, there, the middle part, you cut a circle like a really small tiny circle like this, like an oblong circle, like that. You see that? And it's gonna stretch a whole lot. That's already your neckline. You can cut it bigger if you feel like it will not stretch enough. These are an old pair, so I definitely need to cut a little bit more on the sides. And I can always use these extra pairs that I cut loose. And yeah, here on the sides. And yeah, this is where your neck goes in or your head goes in. See? So it's a dance shirt already. And now you can um, make them in any sleeve length you want. So, for example, you want longer sleeves or you want shorter sleeves. For myself, I'll make them a bit shorter because I do want to use the other parts for other things. So I'll make them like a shirt. Like this. Like a shirt length. I think I did not measure how many inches that was, but yeah. Maybe here. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to fold it into half so that I, I can just copy the length of the other side. So it's about here. And you can just cut it down like straight. You can use any pair of scissors. If you have fabric scissors, that's a lot better. It's already a shirt, and let's wear it. So you can just, because it's stretchy, it's tight, just wear it over your head, and yay, it becomes a shirt. I know a lot of dancers do this. I mean, like, it's not a shirt, but they like to do it for, I don't know, they wear it on top of their Leos. I guess it's like a style. Especially if you're a dancer with like a bit a bit of like bigger chest or something. It's really nice for bras also. Sometimes you can you can also fold them up for inside your dancewear or your costumes and then you'd also get like a really um, smooth like color uh, same to your color skin tone and then it would look like nude uh, Leos so I think it's a good way to reuse your tights and you can always reuse them and rewash them I would suggest though the ends you nail polish them so that they don't run so now they are or it is a dance shirt yay so that's number one all right so I'll just keep this on number two so now you have this really long portion, right? What do we do with this excess portion that we have? Hold on. Wait, I'm going to remove this first. Ooh. All right. So we can keep that because I will use them. I'll just sew the edges so I can still reuse it. 
Number two is the end portion is you can make them dance socks. So I like to use dance socks because I teach a lot and then you know like uh, you don't have to wear the whole tights when you're teaching. You just need the bottom half especially if you're wearing long pants. But you need a sock and you don't like socks. Tights are much more comfortable when you're wearing teaching shoes. So I cut the bottom half only, leave the top half, and I just copy the same thing on the other side. Ta da! And now they're socks, but. So I'm going to show what I usually do. I'm going to wear them first. So when you wear them, it's nice because they become. So some of them are convertible, although you don't need them to become convertible. So I use them as socks, but what I usually do is with my socks, so this is something I made, is I sew it in the sewing machine, as you can see here, so that the edges don't, you know, like fray out or anything. So you can do the same thing here, just fold it up outside or inside, sew it up on the sewing machine just like I did on this one, and you can use it as socks. See? Perfect. Now you can teach in your teaching shoes without a problem. I don't like using regular socks, so I really love the feel of tights. But I've always hated wearing the whole tights and wasting my whole day in them if I didn't need the whole thing. Alright, so we'll put that aside because, again, I'm going to reuse them. So that's two things you can make in one tight. Yeah. So we have two different things. Alright, and this is what's left of my tights, the middle section. What else can we do with them? We can make hair ties. Actually, I love using my tights for hair ties because they're actually more durable. I have one right now. I have some cut up like this. See? So we cut them up and you can make them or you can make it a hair tie. So you just have to cut it up like straight, like this. Like, because it's already circle, you know, so all you have to do is kind of cut it up like this, like so. And look what's gonna happen. Like, as soon as you cut it up, it folds like this. And it's super perfect. Like, it's like the perfect hair tie. Like a simple hair tie. And what I like is it's not too tight and it's also not too loose. So it's good for like every day and like using it for like normal day routines. And if you need something extra, then you have hair tie. Yeah, so you can use any of your tights. You can use old ones, new ones, you know. I mean, there. All right. Okay, and the fourth one, so we have a hair tie already. <laughs> you can you can use this whole thing for hair ties if you need a lot of hair ties, right? So we've already made a shirt and some socks and then the hair tie. The next thing I'm going to make is I'm going to make a soap holder. So I usually use them for soap holders also. So maybe we can use half of it as a soap holder. I forgot my soap. I'm gonna go, go get my soap first. <laughs> Alright, so I have an extra soap here. So, of course, we either you sew it up or you tie it up. So you can always tie up the end portion. Hold on, I'll use this one. But you can tie up the end, like so. Of course, it's going to look neater if you sew it. If you want to have fun with it, you can even dye. Dye the soap holder. And you can put your soap in it. Look! And it's perfect because your soap won't slip away and you can tie it on to your sink or to your bathroom or your bathtub and look I mean you can smell it. it's used as the same thing it's the perfect thing to use for your soaps you know you don't get it directly to your skin but it's enough um, tension and you know suspension I don't know how to say this but it's really good for you using your soaps you can even use it to scrub I like to use it for that and uh, yeah so anyway I just use my soap holder so I just wanted to show you guys like how it bubbles like here do you see how good it bubbles like with your um, tights because you know like the tights fabric and all of that and um, it's really good I feel like the soap doesn't go directly on your skin and you still get that smooth feeling on your hand which is great, right? We we want that. We don't want like too much like 
um, rough things like going on your skin. Not that soap is rough, but I mean it's really nice and smooth on your skin so you can make circular motions and I just wanted to add this. And another thing you can do, you don't have to just put one soaps. Let soaps one soap but let's say you do have extra soaps you know those tiny soaps like for example this soap where we it's not tiny but I mean I haven't used it in a while but where we can't really use them because they're too small you can bunch them up together in one soap holder so you don't waste your soap and it doesn't slip off it's perfect yeah so I really love using this as a soap holder when I need to add more soaps I just open it up make sure it's dry because it's going to be hard to open when it's wet and then you can just use it like it's all the soaps in one soap holder so yeah I hope that is a good tip also that you might want to follow see it makes bubbles too <laughs> so we have another use for this so we've used it for almost like one, two, three, four things already. So let's get to my next tip. Did you know that tights are really good surface cleaners? Like they really clean um, screens well, like computer uh, computer screens. Uh, they really clean like cell phone screens really well. So for example, like my cell phone screen is dirty, I would just use my tights for it. Look, it's shiny and you can clean almost anything like surfaces. Mirrors are really good for tights. So what I like to do is I bunch them up. Like for example, hold, fold them and like bunch them up. Make them a really big like cleaner thingy. And I just use it to wipe things. So now instead of letting go of your tights, you can actually just refurbish the whole thing into like a cleaner. And it's perfect. I'm telling you, it's reusable. You can wash it again and then you can have fun with it also like cleaning. <laughs> and my last two or well, well, the second to the last one is something that we all could use since I prepared up the long one. So when you want the longer one, you do have to cut your tights this way and it will turn out like this. It can be an alignment belt. I know not all of you probably use alignment belts in ballet, but some schools do, and you can just tie it up, or you can sew the ends over here, and then it's going to serve as an alignment belt. You can color this belt, or when you're wearing your sweatpants, for example, and you need an extra tie, but you need a garter that's not too um, tight on you, this is perfect to hold up your uh, sweatpants or your pants, whatever garter that you need because it's not harsh on the skin and it's loose also enough for you to move around. And finally, my last tip for the tights usage, and I have an extra side over here, is I'm going to actually show this to you. This is my favorite thing to make. I'm going to cut this into half. So we're going to need one for each point shoe. Do you know those really expensive um, shoe um, dehumidifier? I don't know how to say this, but like uh, those things that remove the moisture out of your point shoe. So for example, well, I just use my point shoe and I remember doing a video on caring for your point shoes and what I said is you can put silica gel you know what silica gel is? It's those things found in those crackers that so that they don't go stale. So it removes like the the moisture from it. So I would say you keep it. Like I keep all of mine like this. Like we keep a lot of them. <laughs> so that I mean like you don't know when you'll come they'll come in handy. And I swear they always do. So we do keep a lot of them. And instead of just, you know, you don't have to buy them anymore, so you just get them out of whatever packs that you have, yeah. And then we can also make them silica gel holders for your point shoe. You know it's amazing. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars, or let's say, not thousands, but maybe hundreds of dollars for those dehumidifying things for your point shoes. You know, those things that you buy in balls because this is exactly what you're buying and they do the same thing. So I just put like one or two. I tie it up 
And oof, I forgot one important thing to do. What I actually like to do is I get like an essential oil. I don't know if you guys use essential oils. Hold on, I'm gonna let in my dog. <laughs> Okay, so what I like to do is I get an essential oil. So I'll just drop like, let's say, one or two drops here. And then I'll just rub it in like this. So my whole tights smells like essential oil tights. And then, yeah, so the same thing. You just tie up the end or you can sew it. Again, it depends on how you want it to look. Of course, you can make it look better. And then you get one or two. Well, I have this really huge one so I can use that one. That would be cuter. And then I just tie up the end. So see, now it smells good and it's going to dehumidify your shoe. Remove the moisture. And then look, you have your own moisture remover bag now. See? It's really perfect. Like, you don't have to buy one anymore. And it removes the moisture inside your shoe. And I'll just put the other one. Wait, I'll put some essential oil also here. I really love essential oils, so I make sure <laughs> I buy or stock up on them. And there, see? They are in my shoe. Perfect for making your shoes smell good at the same time, you know, refurbishing your tights. So again, I hope that you enjoyed this really simple video on what to do with your old tights. So far, I have had or I have now a shirt warm up. I have my dance socks. I have my hair tie. I have like um, a soap dispenser here. My soap is still here. I am going to tie it on my sink now, so it's so there I can use it. And then I have a hair tie, my belt over here, yeah, and a few other things that I suggested. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. There's so many uses for your tights. Comment below, down below, what else you do with your tights. This is just part one because I do have a part two of this. I'm pretty sure that you have plenty of old tights. And fun fact, um, about 250000 I think, a year if I have not mistaken this, but around 250,000 hosiery or like tights kind of thing, stockings a year are wasted and back in the dumpster every year. So I do suggest you reuse your tights and you upcycle them and you use them for other things. There's so many uses for them and I hope you did enjoy this video and you can do this while you're in quarantine and while we're at home. So thank you again for watching. I hope you enjoyed and until next time, bye!